Okay, right. Uh, today we're going to look at uh, a video, a um, small uh, sample movie sent in by Kirsty. Uh, this is case file 050820 of today. Um, with the intention of analysing a capture that Kirsty's indicated from a small snippet, a family day out. Um, the actual movie itself is around about uh, it's exactly let's put a time on, 42 seconds in length where she's indicating between three and four seconds there's a voice in that that she can explain her description of his ah that type of of sound uh, i've already previewed it and uh what says is saying is yeah uh, there is something in there i reviewed the the video is nothing in there on too hard so we can pretty well disclude the video what i will do i don't want to compromise kirsty so i'm going to be careful how much of the video i'm actually going to show but let's just start that up they're coming down some spiral staircases uh so obviously the walls look like stone line watch walls <coughs> staircase itself is quite interesting because it looks like brick or stone slabs uh typical elizabethan sort of georgian stairs but these will be stone anyway and it'd been a spiral staircase almost like a tube uh so noise will be reflected off the walls maybe off the ceiling as well as off this stone floor uh the only female present, I believe, is Kirsty, and I think she seems to get two or three males with her as well. That's quite important when you come to analyse the actual voices itself. There's a some kids in there as well. Because we reviewed it, um, we don't we're not interested really in the uh, video. Like I said, I don't wish to compromise Kirsty in any way. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to get rid of the uh, video and concentrate on just the audio so it's around this point here that she's saying there's a voice in there and we're going to try and attempt now because I've not actually done any uh, analyzing at all yet so you're going to see this completely live this will be helpful to others later particularly those that you know Kirsty is one of our Facebook Facebook friends sent the video in we don't just review it we actually go into great detail to analyze it to try and find some answers into the questions that Kirsty's obviously got so we're going to give that a go so what we're going to do is uh, say I've listened to the the full 42 seconds uh, there is an anomaly here which I know is round about this area here three to four seconds into it the rest of it nothing in there um, so let's just play that back so you should have heard this ah sound it sounds female so what we're going to do we're going to actually going to loop this little section and play that back okay that's the actual voice that Casey's saying that uh, was not spoken by her because she was the only female there it certainly sounds female um is it an electronic voice phenomena evp because she indicates that she didn't hear it at the time we need to be careful with that because uh humans have selective hearings um we only want to hear what we want to hear and particularly if you're distracted for example if you're walking down some steps got a young child you're going to concentrate on that so it's quite possible that the, the voice could not be heard at the time uh, so it's not an EVP because we should be able to see when we look at the uh, actual frequency if it is or not if it is disembodied or, or maybe someone else that's further back because she's indicated some distance backwards uh, higher up the uh, staircase because she's actually coming down the, the staircase uh, I don't know what the place is neither. I have to ask Kirsty on what this building is, but you see it looks Elizabethan sort of Georgian era um, because of the stonework on the on the stairs. So that could be interesting to find out where this place was. 
so I'm going to bring in a, an analyzer now um, this will give a general idea of that voice which is quite loud because if you look at the rest of the stream where they're speaking in fact I'll play a little bit of that for you yeah so if you listen there you've got I think it's two female voice female voice female voice there female voice there and that sounds like a male yeah so it sounds like a male I've got this quite big bassy frequency there so let's just have a look at that done there I've actually frozen the frequency because of the, the building itself is going to be very echoey because uh, sound is going to reflect off things like walls <coughs> particular stone uh, staircase um, so there is going to be quite a fair spread of frequency if that was an EVP you're gonna get the frequency in all cases within an electronic voice phenomena a tighter frequency so you might be covering in between say 50 to say a thousand uh, sorry 500 to a thousand uh, hertz so this peak is about as much as what you're going to see with the electronic voice phenomena because it's got this other stuff back in I'll just turn that down a bit there's a massive spread of frequency there That is definitely not a EVP. I've seen enough of these over the years to know that that is sound bouncing off walls and the likes. So that is either disembodied, if we're talking about a spirit or a ghost, or another human. So we're going to actually look into that area to find out if we can find a little bit more uh, information out. Uh, we define spirits and ghosts differently. We'll look at spirit as a... And, uh, you know the afterlife of someone that's passed away that you know is fully intelligent and is able to somehow communicate and interact with humans a ghost we look at as pure residual energy stone tape theory not even aware of your presence so it could be is it a ghost or is it a spirit or is it a human so now what else we've got here is we've got I think now Curse has confirmed that she's the only female there. Uh, let's have a listen to this. Okay, so that, that I think is Kirsty because she uh, has disclosed that she is the only female present. So what we're going to actually do, we're going to sample Kirsty. If any investigators watching, you'll find this of interest because this is actually how we go around analysing uh, audio. And we've also got this other bit here, which is obviously the suspect. Let's see if we can get that one. We're not particularly interested in anything else, so we're just going to get rid of that lot and just simply concentrate. Okay. 
and the two goises. So that's, that's pretty well lined up. So the first one, as I'll just play that back. That's the suspect voice. The second one being, I'm pretty confident that's going to be Kirsty talking. Okay. We'll bring a couple of analyses and we're actually going to look at each one independently now. Uh, I'll quickly do this. So number one is the suspect voice. Number two being Kirsty. Well, I presume it's Kirsty. Okay, there we go. So, first ones first, we're going to look at the suspect voice. We'll keep playing that back. here just freeze it okay so that, that's a suspect voice there we'll now do the same just reverse them and play Kirsty which is this one here And we're now going to play them both together. <coughs> First thing is the volume on track one, which is suspect voice, is a much higher volume. Now, considering both of these samples were taken quite close to one another, uh, certainly within a, uh, a second and a half, two seconds, um, they're in the same area. So the acoustics of the uh, frequency are quite similar. But this one, the suspect voice is much louder. So what we can say is the voice of this R is quite close to the recording device that it was recorded on which is the mobile phone that uh, Kirsty was holding at the time Kirsty's voice is slightly lower so if you if she's walking down the steps with the video uh, with a smartphone say three or four feet away from it the, uh, and whoever it is that made this R sound is within two feet of the mobile because you're three feet away you're obviously going to find the difference in volume so what we can rule out with this is, is that if some people are 20 feet behind her 30 feet behind her walking down the stairs it's not them the sound of that R is closer to the recording source than a smartphone than what Kirsty was that's quite intriguing we also now know as well it's not an EVP it's got to be some form of uh, disembodies is a spirit is it a ghost the other question is is it Kirsty now if you look at number one again there's the frequency span it's much higher in volume these two peaks are quite important um, a female frequency works different than uh, a male counterpart The spread of frequency is key to this, I think, because uh, the EVP has said it would be much tighter. Its spread is quiet, it's about 100. Uh, where it starts, this is low, end, low frequency, low end frequency. The other one starts about 2 to, to 300. This is Kersey talking. And f carries on, this is the higher end, which is the reverberation of the room itself. Um, let's play it back. But I'm actually going to turn the volume quite down because we're not really interested in listening to it now we're interested in what the frequency is doing that's around about peaks around about 400 hertz 400 hertz 
and the other peak is about say 700 the second peak here roughly there but it's got this third peak the two main peaks on this this is the actual uh, suspect voice we've got a peak there 700 another one say 1200 Hertz the two peaks in Curtis voice is about 350 Hertz with a second peak it's 700 Hertz it's miles different um, and we've got the natural falling away of the frequency on the suspect voice where on Curtis is continuing and much slower uh, as the sound is still resonating so these voices differ so I can, I'm confident of now saying that this R is not Kirsty. we can also say because it's much closer to the recording source than Kirsty is because it's louder it's not an EVP but some form of disembodied that could be human or as well as spiritual as well as so let's give Kirsty a few answers question is who spoke it so I'm gonna go back to play that one on its own let's see if we can <coughs> I think we've heard it a few times now to know that it sounds female um, uh, I think if Kirsty, she's obviously aware of the, the location of the building she was in when this capture was taken. Um, a little bit of research on the, on the property itself, if we can help in that. Always glad to do a bit with that one. Um, staircase R. I don't know. Um, that bit is left to people's own perception. But what we can say to this is that uh, it's not Kirsty talking it. It's some other voice. Uh, it's somebody, the voice is quite close to the the key bit with this. The, the voice is louder than Kirsty talking, and considering she's the one that's holding the smartphone, a uh, smartphone, I presume, um, indicates it's closer than Kirsty is. Um, it's not an EVP because of the frequency spread. There's too much reverberation. EVP just gets onto the recorder by some sort of form of projected means rather than a physical sound uh, through the airwaves. And the frequency signature is completely different. It's an interesting one. Um, if people were to think in it, it would be a spirit or a ghost. Um, you could argue either way on that one. Uh, but it's an interesting one. Um, a little bit re more research on the building that the footage was taken from, together with the staircase. You know, a, an example of that would be a woman was thrown down the staircase in the 15th century, something that type of thing. Adds substance to it, and I think we've gone as far as we know. Uh, not an EVP. It's disembodied. It's definitely not Kirsty talking. It's close up to the microphone. The frequency spread is completely different. There isn't as much uh, reverberation to it than um, Kirsty's voice, where where she talks. Obviously, sounds bouncing off stuff. So, interesting little um, capture that one. Um, we don't always have the answer to everything, but we'll, we'll, I think we'll give uh, Kirsty a few things to think about there. Anyway. Uh, uh, those that um, are watching in uh, if you've got anything we're always keen to look at um, any capture of his video audio or images that type of thing give us a shout and you can see now that it's not just about we just review it we actually take a great time uh, and effort to put into this and we've you know we've been doing it a long time now uh, to try and find the answers to it so Thanks to Kirsty for this one. Thank you.